Anin Buju band members. Today is Thursday, February 11th. COVID updates for the county. Aiken County yesterday, 1,144. Today, 1,146. Crow Wing, yesterday, 5,038. Today, 5,055. Mill X, yesterday, 2,216. And today, 2,218. Pine County, yesterday, 2,744. And today, 2,753. And of course, these numbers are increasing again. And as a reminder that I say just about every video, please wear your mask. Make sure you do the social distancing. Stay home if you're ill and wash your hands frequently. On the reservation, there is no change in any of the districts. So District 1 and 2A, 105, no change. District 2, 10, no change. And District 3, 35, no change. So that's good news. I hope that we can keep those numbers the same and there is no increases. And as a reminder for the vaccination update, if you wanna be placed on the list to be vaccinated, please call the Health and Human Services, 320-532-4163. Your name and contact information will be added to the list. Also, a couple of things, um, tax season is here. And so, the Grand Casino Income Tax Preparation Program. So the appointment hotline is open. So the service is for elders, band members, and employees of the band. It is a free service for all. So they have a program that they use and uh, some folks are saying it took band members mm, about 20 minutes to complete their federal and state returns. So that's that's good. We can get that done quickly. And the number 320-532-8500. And leave a message and they say someone will uh, return your call to set up an appointment. Want to give a shout out to one of our band members, Catherine Coltrude, who lives in District 3. And Catherine recently won a competitive arts grant from the Minnesota State Arts Board. And she has been an active artist for many years. And she submitted an application along with samples of her work in September, 2020. Of course, this grant was competitive and she put her submission in with many other artists from across the state. So I'm uh, very proud of her. And um, I look forward to reading about her and the grant in the next issue of our newsletter. Today, I was involved in a very interesting panel. I was invited by our band member, Tanya Stewart, and this was regarding leadership and business leaders across the state of Minnesota. And I had the opportunity to do an educational forum talking about the Mille Lacs band, uh, the history of the band with uh, some of the issues that we deal with, talked about self-governance, talked about sovereignty, talked about how we need to do a better education process in the state of Minnesota for all students to learn about American Indian governments. And that was a enjoyable panel to participate in. One of the questions from the participants was that he had read in the Star Tribune about our lawsuit. So he asked me to talk a little bit about that. And so I explained exactly what happened, um, why we're in the lawsuit, because it has to do with the law enforcement in the Mille Lacs County interference with our law enforcement department. And um, when I have the opportunity to educate individuals from the state of Minnesota, I always want to take that opportunity to share our history and some of the current governance that we implement for the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe. 
because of the extremely cold temperatures this week, the elder food distribution has been rescheduled. And so that is on Tuesday, February 16th, from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. at the Grand Casino Mille Lacs south side of the Convention Center for District 1 and District 2A. And District 2, it is at the Community Center. District 3, Northern, the Grand Northern Inn Hinkley parking lot. And on Wednesday, the 17th, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. is the urban office and that's on Franklin Avenue. We are still experiencing a lot of this cold weather so please check on your neighbors and your family elder members or friends and uh, stay warm and I will talk to you soon. Miigwech.